Welcome to this video from Learn Electrics. Some time ago I made a video entitled 35 is the magic number and a few people have since asked if there are any other useful numbers that should be remembered and are there any other little number tricks that can be used. When it comes to maximum ZS values there are three such numbers, very useful numbers and these are the numbers 44, 35 and 0 0.8. I sometimes call 44 and 35 the magic numbers as they allow you to quickly calculate the ZS values for common breakers without the need for looking things up in a book. Let's begin with the number 44. This number will give us the values that are to be found in the wiring regulations book without using the book. This method is so easy and so quick that you can have the number calculated before your colleagues have even found the right page in the regs book. That's the magic part. We're going to start by calculating the ZS tabulated values. Tabulated means that they come from a table within the regulations book and we will look at type B, type C and type D devices. You will learn how to calculate ZS for the common BS EN 60898 breakers and 61009 RCBOs. And as we said, these are called tabulated values as found in the wiring regulations. So let us take the number 44 and then divide this number by the size or rating of the circuit breaker or RCBO. IN, as shown here, is called the nominal current rating of the breaker. Think of N as the number that is stamped onto the breaker. For a 32 amp breaker, IN is 32 amps. For a 6 amp breaker, IN is 6 amps. It is the nominal value. Let's take our type B 32 amp breaker and quickly calculate the tabulated value without using any books. And there is no excuse for not having a calculator. You might leave your books at home, but who leaves their mobile phone behind? No one. Here we go then. Take the number 44 and divide it by 32. That's it. There's nothing more to do. We have an answer of 1.375, which we can round down to 1.37 ohms. That's the answer. The maximum tabulated ZS for a 32 amp Type B breaker is 1.37 ohms. But don't take my word for it, let's visit the regs book and check. Go to page 62 in the wiring regulations and find table 41.3. Near the top of the table we can find the row that says type B circuit breakers. Look through this table and we will find an entry for a 32 amp breaker and below it is the ZS value of 1.37 ohms. Let's try another. We'll stay with type B breakers, but this time the IN or rated value is 10 amps. We don't even need a calculator for this one. 44 divided by 10 is 4.4 ohms. And that's our answer, 4.4 ohms tabulated. We can check this one too. Page 62 again, table 41.3 and find type B breakers. Find 10 amps. And below it is the answer 4.37 ohms, which is close enough to our 4.4 ohms. Going back to a 32 amp breaker, as this is a popular size, let's calculate the tabulated ZS for a Type C device. Calculate 44 divided by 32 just as before. Again, we have 1.375 ohms, but now we must divide this by 2 to arrive at our final answer. 1.375 divided by 2 is 0 0.68 ohms after a little bit of rounding up. So for a type C breaker just find the ZS for a type B and then divide by 2. So simple. We can check this as well on page 62. Find the row type C. Ignore the small letter B at the beginning of the row. This can be confusing at first. Section B of the table is for Type C breakers. Now find 32 amps in the Type C data and the number 0 0.68 is shown. Now look at Type D breakers. We will stay with 32 amp devices 
and calculate the tabulated value for a type D. Do exactly the same as before. Calculate it as if it was a type B breaker to begin with. So 44 divided by 32 is 1.375 ohms again, but now we divide by 4 for a type D breaker or RCBO. 1.375 divided by 4 gives us 0 0.34 ohms as a tabulated ZS. Let's check. Scroll down page 62 and we will find the section for type D breakers. But this time we have two entries for type D. We want the row for a 0 0.4 disconnection time as shown here. Now find 32 amps and our answer is as we expected, 0 0.34 ohms. How easy is that? Anybody that doesn't know this trick will think it's a black art, some magic trick. The next number to look at is the familiar 0 0.8, often called the 80% rule, as 0 0.8 is the same as 80%. Why do we have it? What is 0 0.8 telling us? A cable's temperature can increase if it is exposed to increases in environmental temperature or an increase that is caused by additional current flowing through the cable. As the temperature of the copper increases, the resistance will increase. We say that the maximum permitted temperature for most copper cables is 70 degrees Celsius. We must do whatever we can to keep the cable temperature below this. We've just calculated the maximum tabulated values for ZS. What we must do now is to ensure that even at 70 degrees, even if the temperature increases and causes the resistance to increase, the resistance in ohms will never exceed this tabulated value. So the question is, what lower value of ZS that we can measure at room temperature will allow the resistance to increase as the copper temperature increases but never exceed the tabulated ZS value, even at 70 degrees. And the scientists tell us that we can calculate this by using a factor of 0 0.8 to downsize the values to give us a target resistance that we can measure at room temperature. So, if we take the tabulated ZS from the wiring regs book and then multiply it by 0 0.8, we will arrive at the maximum measured ZS as found in the on-site guide. If the measured ZS, what we measure with our test meter, is less than the values shown in table B6 of the on-site guide at room temperature, then even at 70 degrees Celsius, the ZS will not exceed the tabulated values. At 70 degrees, the maximum ZS for a 32 amp type B breaker is 1.37 ohms. This is our maximum resistance value. We never want to exceed this. 1.37 multiplied by 0 0.8 gives us 1.09 ohms. This means that when we measure ZS with a test meter at room temperature, if the value is less than 1.09 ohms, then at 70 degrees it will not exceed 1.37 ohms. Applying the same rules to a 10 amp type B breaker, 4.4 ohms times 0 0.8 is 3.5 ohms. If we measure less than 3.5 ohms at room temperature, then even at 70 degrees, the resistance will not exceed 4.4 ohms. Now, here is the trick. 44 multiplied by 0 0.8 is 35. The magic number 35 allows us to quickly calculate the maximum measured ZS, the number that we should be using when measuring with our test meter. Again, this works for all BSEN 60898 breakers and BSEN 61009 RCBOs for types B, C and D. It's almost the same calculation as before. This time it is 35 divided by IN, the size of the breaker or RCBO. ZS measured will always be smaller than the corresponding tabulated value. Always smaller. If it comes out the same or bigger, then the calculation has gone wrong. Start again. We can return to our favourite breaker, 
the 32 amp type B and this time we will calculate the maximum measured ZS using the number 35. These are measured values that we will calculate. They will be the same as those in table B6 of the on-site guide. To calculate the measured ZS for a 32 amp type B breaker, the method is similar to before. This time we will divide 35 by IN, the size of the breaker, do the calculation and out pops the answer 1.09 ohms. Turning to page 131 of the on-site guide, we have table B6. Find the row for type B breakers. Now find the column for 32 amp breakers and look up the number. Shown here is 1.1 ohms. This is the 1.09 that we calculated rounded up. Every book will round the numbers up or down by a small amount. If we now apply the same rules to find the measured ZS of a 10 amp type B breaker, 35 divided by 10 is 3.5. And we can check this in table B6 if we need to. Find the row for type B breakers and then find 10 amp breakers and we have our comparison value 3.5 ohms. Look now at what ZS value a type C breaker would have. We said that the type B value should be divided by 2 to find the type C figure. So divide 3.5 by 2 and we have 1.7 ohms for a type C 10 amp breaker. Towards the bottom of table B6 we can find the ZS values for a 10 amp type D circuit breaker. We said that we should divide the type B number by 4 and here it is. 3.5 divided by 4 is 0 0.87 ohms as per table B6. We could do our calculation and divide by 4 to reach the same answer. So if you arrive on site with no books, no problem. Use your newly learnt mental skills to find the answer. Just remember those three useful numbers 44, 0 0.8 and 35. The maximum tabulated ZS is from the wiring regs book and we can calculate this if we divide 44 by the breaker size. 0 0.8 is the adjustment factor to allow for temperature rises in the copper cables. And the maximum measured ZS, as will be found in the on-site guide, can be calculated quite easily when we divide 35 by the breaker size. This slide summarises all that we have talked about for a 32 amp breaker, type B, type C and type D. The tabulated values in the upper table and the measured values in the lower table. And another popular breaker size, especially with domestic work, is the 6 amp device. The upper table shows tabulated values and how we achieve them and the lower table shows measured values. Well that's it. Hopefully you have learnt how to quickly and easily calculate ZS values without the need for books. When you become good at mental arithmetic and manipulating numbers you may not even need a calculator. The best way to become good at these is to practice them. The more you practice, then the more it becomes a part of your long-term memory. Thank you for watching this video. It is very much appreciated. Please subscribe to our channel to get access to all of our videos and remember to click on notify to be sure of not missing our next video. And here are some tips on getting even more information and help out of learnelectrics.com. At your web browser, Enter learnelectrics.com into the search bar. Select learnelectrics.com from the choices offered and the website, as shown, will open up for you. You now have a couple of choices. You can search for a help item or any video by entering a keyword into the search bar on the right. Click on Return and all the help files and videos with that word in the title will be listed for you. They will be shown with a short description Click on continue reading for more information and each video listed will have a link shown that will take you directly to that exact YouTube video. Or you can browse through the list of all the available items and videos. To do this, click on the LE logo on the top left of the home page and all our items and videos will be shown. There will be 10 items shown on each page and at the bottom of each page 
is a page selector. Page 2, page 3, 4, etc. They will bring up the next 10 items or videos in the list. And don't forget that you can also type in Learn Electrics, all one word, into the YouTube search bar to go directly to our channel at any time from any computer. We are constantly adding new videos to our channel. Don't miss the next one. Once again, thanks for watching and we hope to see you again very soon.